Like and subscribe in the next five seconds or you're not getting Robux for Christmas. Don't risk it, cause I'm not. What is up, Craze Nation? My name is Craze Factor, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing quite the important topic. We actually got some new news, how to get the Crown of Madness, the matching Robes of Madness, Pants of Madness, as well as the Piggy Secret Badge, guys. So if you are interested, uh, make sure you watch this video till the very end. We're going to show you guys how to get the badge. We're going to show you guys how to get the crown, the matching pants, the matching robe, a lot of people have been actually wanting these items for quite a while ever since I actually mentioned them in the original Ready Player 2 video. So again, first of all, I'm going to break down all the steps for you guys, starting with Piggy. So obviously the game is Piggy. You need to play Piggy to actually obtain the items. So if you haven't played Piggy, well, it's not too confusing, but at the same time, it's pretty confusing if you're going to be just in a public server and people don't follow the rules. Now, let me break it down. First of all, I'm going to go in a private server because obviously I don't want people to mess me up. And also, I don't have any friends. But anyways, we're going to go inside the public uh, private server, I mean. And we are going to go to book two, right? So we're going to play book two and we need the map to be alley, guys. So we're going to set the map to alley. So we're going to be uh, book two, chapter one. And that should be alley, guys. Editor's note. Well, it turned out that we also had to set the mode to trader mode because when we came to turning off the torches, it didn't work unless we were in trader mode. We tried everything we can. We tried it twice. It didn't work. So make sure you don't forget to select trader mode as well. Back to the video. And now we're just going to wait for this intermission to finish. And then I'm going to show you guys what you need to do next. So again, piggy it has to be book two and it has to be alley and trader mode, you retard. So we're going to vote for alleys now. And this is exactly the map we want to go to. This is the map you're going to need to follow along. So now, once we make it into alleys, guys, what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to start um, unlocking all the areas as usual. And you will only have until five minutes. And that is when all of the steps begin to unlock for you guys. So first of all, obviously, you want to unlock the map. And you go want to unlock all the doors, just make sure you can roam around the map, no problem. All right. So then there's going to be a certain door. I'm going to skip the video to that area when it's actually just about five minutes and I have everything unlocked. So we'll get there right now. Did I forget to mention we suck at Piggy? Well, after failing like 10 times in a row, we called in the big guns. The Calvary has arrived, everybody. Big shout out to Extremely for helping us out. I oofed about five times. I didn't manage to get the thing, so... Without him, we probably couldn't beat it. Now let's go before we get murdered by the piggy. Oh my god. <laughs> About 10 more attempts later, we finally completed the quest. So here is the full clip for you guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, guys. Once the clock strikes five minutes, uh, we can go ahead and click on the middle door back here once we open up the area. One, two, three, four. Four knocks in the first area, so we got to put in the number four on the dice inside of the cafe. Here's a little clip of where the dice is at, right? A little image on the screen right over here. So in the cafe in the corner right next to the bench. Once we put in four on the dice, you can uh, say E in the chat. There you go, E. We know he put in the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is next. So we got four and we got seven. So I'm going to put in seven in the second pair of dice, which is in the laundromat in the corner back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then let's see what the final number is going to be. We got four, seven, four is the easy, easy enough number. Seven, and let's see the final number. One, two, two. Wonderful. So the final number is going to be two. And we're going to put the two in the final dice right over here. One and two. Once we do all those numbers, we've got to go ahead and click on the door again. Once we click on the door again, it's going to open up, give us a secret message. Hello? I put on my son's virtual reality headset and I can't get out of the game. You got to help me out. Then this door opens up and we can go ahead and head inside. Once we head inside, guys, we're going to go ahead and be greeted with this secret area. Now, inside of this area, once we go ahead and get in here, you got to go ahead and click the levers and push all the levers towards the wall. When you click on one lever, it actually activates the lever that's actually next to it. So Extremely over here has done it a few times already. When you press on the lever, the lever next to it actually activates. So make sure you get all the levers next to the wall only. I forgot that he can't actually press anything, so I'm going to have to do this myself. Just like that, we pushed all the levers next to the wall. And now this door opens here. 
So now we're going to have to go ahead and do the torches real quick. So what he does is he climbs up the wall right over here. And he's told me that he spam clicks E on the torch and that goes ahead and turns it off. That worked. That worked. So just left click spam around the torch and press E and eventually the torch will turn off, guys. Let's see. There's three. And come on, work with me. Where is the final place I have to click? There's four. We did it, guys. So those are all the torches turned off. Now we have to head back over here and we have to pull all the levers back again. So we pull these two. Then you pull uh, these two. And just like that, they're all down. This door is going to close really fast. So you need to go ahead and get inside before the door closes on you. This door is going to open. Now, what were the numbers? Four, seven, and two. You have to remember the order that you put the uh, numbers in the dice, okay? Screen's going to start glitching. Piggy's going to come in if you're not too quick. So we're going to go ahead and find number four. This is a number three. That's a number three. That is not four. That is a one. That is a one, two, three, four, five. There is two over there. There is one, two, three. That might be four, but I'm too, I'm not too sure about that. One, two, three, four. This looks like a four to me. I'm clicking this. I think it's a four. I click that. Hopefully the wall doesn't come down crushing us. Next number. What else? Four, seven. Where's seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven right over here. And then where's number two? Number two. Number two needs to be pressed right now and we win. Where's number two? Where's number two? Where's number two? Where's number two? Here. Number two, number two, number two, number two. We press number two. We did everything in order, guys. The door should open. The final door. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Piggy's about to kill us. Come on. Loop it around. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We just completed the puzzle. We're going to go in the final area. And just like that, we are awarded the badge. Wow. We did it, guys. We did it. Thank you for helping me escape that scary place. Now, how can I repay you? Oh, here you go. I... <laughs> I better have gotten the items after that because I just got completely smacked by Piggy at the end. I was trying to read the text and Piggy's just like, nope. <laughs> but thank you. Oh my god, we actually completed the event. We're going to go ahead and check our inventory real quick to make sure that we got the item. You got the item. We're checking uh, to see if we got the item as well. Let's go. We're going to go into our inventory, guys. And we just have to check the items real quick. Boom! We got the Crown of Madness, people. We did it. So the items that you get when you complete it, first of all, you get the crown of madness, which is amazing because it's a purple crown. It could actually go pretty good with my hair. And the other items you get are, let's go ahead and look inside of our shirts. So you need to go to shirts uh, right here, and then you will get the rope of madness. So this matches along with the crown of madness. And then you also get the pants, I believe. So if we go to pants, you get the third item, which is the pants of madness. So that's all the items there. That is the full tutorial for how you guys get both the badge. We can check if we got the badge as well. So we go into inventory, we go into badges, and we also got the secret piggy badge, people. So that is the full tutorial. Hopefully this has helped everybody out. If it has, drop uh, the comment down below saying what you thought of the video. And if you have any more clues in regards to Ready Player 2 event for other games, make sure to also leave the clues down in the comment section below, guys. Also, be much appreciated if you guys could subscribe to the channel if you're new and have not done so already because it actually helps me out. R leave a like on the video as well and consider joining the Roblox group. Here's the Roblox group over here. We are actually at 358 members. Once we hit 500 members, we're going to do more Robux giveaways, guys. So thank you again. You guys are all amazing. I just want to point out one more thing. We hit 4,000 subscribers last night. You guys have been like so, so, so amazing. Your support is greatly appreciated. But we're, we're on the road to 5k, people. The 5k, once we hit 5k, that's going to be a big, big milestone for us. Again, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Ugh, this coat's still wet. Thanks to you. <laughs> I'm only joking. One more thing I wanted to mention before I ended the video, guys, is that our staff applications will be reopening. I did not mention this for quite a while, but I wanted to put it out there. So the goal is when I hit 5,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel and the Discord server hits 2,500 members, the staff applications for the Discord will reopen. And then you can climb the ranks of my staff and the higher rank you get, the more trust I have in you. If you have head admin or above, you will get YouTube moderator on my live streams. So. Just wanted to put that out there. You'll see my Discord server link in literally every description of my video right over here, guys. So if you have not joined the Discord already, please do so as well. There's a shameless plug from yours truly, Grace Factor. See you all in the next one. Peace.